just went down along the, the shore looking for some foreground interest. The sky's got a lot of colour in it. There's something massive over there and I'll be honest I'm a little bit I'm a little bit nervous. So I've just arrived at my chosen location. Absolutely stunning beach. Miles and miles of glorious, beautiful sand. The tide is was fully in 20 minutes ago. It's only starting to go out now, so not ideal. I would have liked it to be a bit further on. Left some some pools in the in the sand. The other thing is the sky's looking pretty poor guys. But if I'd stayed in my bed there was absolutely no chance I get an image so let's see what we can get. Down at the water's edge, the tide is, is is expected. A lot closer than I would like, but it is what it is. I found my first composition. What actually attracted me was this little bit of seaweed. Um, and obviously the, the S-shaped bend. So I've just taken an image. I'm at F-16. Yeah, again, that's purely because the distance from here to to the seaweed, I want to be in focus. ISO 100. I do have a two-stop soft edge grad in, and the reason I've gone soft is because of the transition that I'm requiring here. I'm shooting it in portrait because it naturally lends itself to that that composition. It's after sunrise and that's the sky just starting to light up now. Some absolutely gorgeous colours there. Because of the long shutter speed it is actually a little bit hit or miss. I am trying to find the, the waves coming in, but there is a bit of guesswork going on. Just went down along the, the shore looking for some foreground interest. The sky's got a lot of colour in it. There's something massive over there, and I'll be honest, I'm a little bit 
I'm a little bit nervous to go and explore and see what it is. It's big, whatever it is. I honestly, I honestly don't know what it is. What the hell is it? I think it's a dolphin? No. I think it's a whale. I think the poor f It's maybe wrapped up in something. I don't know. I don't think there's any need to to show it. The poor f has got caught in something. Some sort of rubbish wrapped around it. Rest in peace and all that. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do for it just now. <laughs> nothing I can do for it at all, sadly. Right, let's get back to the photography. So I've moved on, I've come up the dunes, I've left that little fellow alone. Rest in peace and all that, but like I said, there's nothing I can do to help him. Um, I've still got some colour in the sky, actually. Time goes by, yeah, you and I are running out, running out. Time goes by, I'll change my mind about you. The one thing I did want to, to mention is how much I hate those wind turbines. I used to come to this beach a lot. It's, uh, it's a place I really love shooting at. But obviously, I did know they'd been installed. It really has put me off coming here as a location. It makes me sad. There isn't many places left in Britain that's been left untouched. And our coastline is one of them. And I know there's lots of arguments for them. But as a landscape photographer, I think a little bit of me died when they installed these. This stretch of the coastline is very, very precious to my heart. I've always loved shooting here. Shot here for about the last 15 years. You never know. <laughs> Once the autumn comes and we're getting a lot more gloomy weather, I might be back here with my big stopper <laughs> photographing um, the windmills or the wind turbine, should I say. <laughs> but at the moment, no thank you. I was just heading back to the car and I know this will sound silly. I just love the, the emptiness, the space. So I've set the camera up, I have chucked the big stopper on and I'm photographing nothing. <laughs> just just the sea, sky, big stopper. And just the subtle colours that are in the sky. I've got a feeling it'll work, but no foreground interest. No focal point, I'm photographing nothing. <laughs> I'm scared to say I'll put it on the screen and let you see and make up your own mind. Um, let's see. 